how to make coloring books to sell on Etsy. Today I'll be showing you three easy ways to create coloring books that you can sell on Etsy. Make sure to watch until the end so you don't make any mistakes. Okay, so the first thing you want to do, click on create a design. Then search for coloring book and click on the one that says portrait. The next thing you wanna do is create the borders for the pages. It's super easy. All you have to do is click on elements on the left-hand side, and then I'm gonna be going to the shapes. Click on the square. And now I'm gonna be creating the border with my square. Once it's nicely placed like that, we're gonna be going to the section right here, border style. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the first option available. Here you also have the option to play around with the border weight or the rounding of your corners. Uh, but for this example, I'm just gonna keep it super simple and go with um, two for my border weight. Once that's done, go to the color section right here, select no color. So it will be this transparent one here. There it is, we have now our borders for our page. Let's go ahead and start with the first option, which is using elements directly from Canva. Here on the search elements section, all you need to do is search for keywords that fit the overall theme of your coloring book. I will be searching for animals since that is the theme of my coloring book. So I'm going here, I'm typing in animals coloring. So here I'll go to the graphic section and what I'll do is I'll just have a look uh, in the available options. For example, I like this fish one right here. I'll click on that. As you can see, it's appeared on my page. Now I can customize this, um, basically uh, enlarge it or replace it in another part of the page. So it really depends on how you want to work with it. And here on the left, you will see the magic recommendation sections. And when you um, press on see all, you will see um, similar styles to the one that you picked right here. Another cool thing that we can do is we can go to text and add a heading. For example, we can say fish. I'll do that with capital letters and I'll add this as a heading. But what you can do is you can first enlarge this a bit and then go to effects on the top right corner and select hello. What it does is it basically empties inside the words. You can also play around with the thickness of it. I want to add this leopard to one of my pages as well. So first of all, I'm duplicating my first page. I'm deleting the design and I'm keeping my frame and I'm adding this leopard right here. And I so you can take your time, you can have a look at the available designs and continue with duplicating the page and adding the new design. So this would be our first option to create our pages in Canva. Let me now show you the second one, which is using Canva AI. Um, to work with this option, we'll first go to the app section right here. And then we're gonna search for magic media. So now I'm gonna click on this app right here. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna write a prompt. So for example, my prompt will be um, create animals, animal images in black and white for coloring book. And here you can select a specific style. So it could be watercolor, photo, filmic, whatever you want. Right now I'll do it none. And this part is super important. So uh, please, please keep in mind that for the aspect ratio part, it should be set to portrait. So please do set it on portrait because otherwise the design and the image created by Magic Media would not be fitting to our frame. Um, so once everything is nicely done, I'm going to be clicking on generate image. It will now take a couple of seconds for AI to generate our images. And there we go. We have four pictures that AI has created for us. So what we can do, for example, I like um, 
the lion here, I'm again uh, duplicating my page, deleting my design, and simply just clicking on um, the AI generated design for me. I am going through the same process of kind of editing it a bit. And yes, so this is basically one of the options you can work with. Also, the good thing here is these designs generated by AI are unique to you. So it works with your own prompt and uh, you cannot find it in the element section or any other uh, part within a platform. So they're really unique to you and they'll be special in a way. So uh, if you like to lie in, you can also click on this three dots here and uh, again, click on generate more like this. What it will do is it will give you images that are similar to the one that you liked before. So again, it may take a couple of seconds. Yes, there we have it. Ooh, it came up with quite cool ones. So again, I'm duplicating, deleting, and wow, this bear is awesome, isn't it? So I'm just zooming in on that and adding it to my design. So last but not least, I want to show you probably the easiest way you can create a coloring book in Canva, which is to use a pre-designed template within the platform. Uh, so for that, I'm going to be going to the home page. I'm going to be clicking on create a design. Now I'll type in coloring book, choose the same one. So when I enter it on the left, you will see the templates that are a good fit to my search, which was coloring book. And here by chance, I do already have a pre-designed animal coloring book for me. So what I can do is I can look through it and if I like it, I can just be like apply all 10 pages. So when I do that, you will see that it will be copied to my um, to my existing pages and I will have what I need. So I don't have to do anything extra. And the cool thing they did here is they even added a section, a little box where kids can um, name the given animals. So here they can come and be like giraffe. So that's pretty cool. But if I don't like to have this, I can always delete it. Or let's say that I love a majority of these um, animals, but I don't like this giraffe. So I can again go back to elements, search for animals, uh, go to graphics, and it seems like we don't have a sea animal. So I'll add a sea animal like a fish. So again, all the pre-designed templates are fully customizable. It is by far the easiest way you can create a coloring book within Canva. Taking you back to the original coloring book that we designed, once you're happy with all the pages, it means that you can now download it. So uh, I'll go to share button right here and then I'll go to download and here underneath file type, you will see a bunch of uh, file types that you can download uh, your design with, but I suggest you stick to GPG or uh, PNG. I'll choose PNG and I'll select all pages. You also have the option to leave a couple of them out if you want, um, but I'll select all the pages. And now I'm gonna be click on download. And there you have it. We have our coloring book ready.